Hello, my friends. Christopher Barrelette with the Barrelette Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I am here with another great new construction opportunity in sunny Harmony, Florida. Today, August 22nd, 2021, we are gonna be taking a look at what's available for a brand new multi-generational community called Enclave. It is surrounded by some great amenities and community features as it is located right in the heart of Harmony. For those just learning about Harmony, Florida, it is a small township in St. Cloud, about nine miles from the corner of US 192 and Narcusi Road. They have highly rated schools, a great community with different activities, walking trails, golf, and much more. I will be sure to detail all of it for you in the description. Jones Homes USA as a builder is known for their luxury standards and finishes available throughout all of their homes. They want you to have the same feeling walking into your newly built home as you do in the model. So they include many of the extras that others do not. When visiting their communities, you can always expect to find a model that will depict the community standard as far as the features. Here's some footage of that so that you can get an idea what to expect. Behind me is the Tarpon, and it is a six bedroom, three bath, two car garage, and just under 2,900 square feet. Now currently the starting price at the time of filming is in the upper $400,000 range. I chose to profile this home because I've shown you what they can do with smaller size homes, so here is something that's going to be for folks looking for something larger. The Tarpon, like most Jones homes, has three distinct elevations to choose from. All have that signature Jones Homes USA style and natural light with all the windows. However, they stand out as different looks. So let's go ahead and pop on into the tarpet and let's see what you think of the layout. Upon walking up, as I mentioned before, the Jones Homes has a very distinct style, something I think is kind of a, a mix of a classic and kind of modern look. But one of the things that they perfectly encapsulated uh, is a Florida style. So I love the tarpon, definitely great grand look, uh, lines and curb appeal throughout all of this home. Uh, it's a great choice for the lighting, but I love the uh, addition of having uh, this front porch here as well. Um, don't forget, of course, all of your paper, pavers and things are going to be standard uh, for the Jones homes, their types of home. You're also going to have that. So for your driveway uh, and for your walkway up, your pavers are going to be standard. But a really nice look overall. Nice grand front entrance, right? Tall door. Very, very nice. I love the extras and ways that they offer to do that door. Much different than some of those uh, older style uh, kind of glass doors. So again, something that's uh, new and modern. Uh, so I do love a little bit of having the front porch there. It's just great. Some nice grand and big columns for you as well. Let's pop them in and see what the rest is going on here with the tarpon. All right, so I do like, let's see, this foyer area. Very nice, I always like something when you have that nice long kind of look straight on in through the back there. Uh, so to the left here is just gonna be kind of an open space wall. Now what they've done, and this is, being, this is a, a upper level model, so some of the stuff that we're gonna see in here, like the wall trims and things like that, are just to give you an idea of something that you can do. All right, uh, but, and keep in mind that you have this space up front here, and of course we usually have it as typical, so what you might wanna do here, a piece of furniture or something like that. Uh, so just off to the right, we're gonna have uh, our first kind of bedroom and bathroom, so we'll go through that, and then I can't wait to show you some of the other features as well. So this is actually bedroom two, uh, right up front here. And I think it's great, always, you know, the, the room that has up by the front is gonna have really nice large windows in it, part of that curb appeal up front. This room overall, I think is a great size, you know, what you would expect for the type of home that you're gonna be uh, getting into, but it does well. Um, this bed here, which I think is a full size, so this would be something, you know, that's gonna let you know on how much room and space that you're gonna have, plenty for the furniture and all. Um, and you've got closet here, just kind of the sliding doors, but just to give you an idea on the size of that, all right? So overall, I think a phenomenal room. Let's pop on out here and take a look at the bath that is available. Now again, I love the signature Jones Homes features when it comes to the bathrooms. You see this tile? You see this tile? 
There it is, all the way up to the ceiling. Now that's something you're not gonna find in, uh, in all the different builders. This thing is definitely one of those Jones Homes uh, signatures that I absolutely love, which is gonna be a standard for you. Um, so even in your front you know, bathroom that might typically be a guest bathroom, they have phenomenal features. Now as you can see, you have you know, the countertops that are gonna be standard throughout the home, uh, your cabinetry, and here being an upper model, they're gonna show you some of the added, uh, like the uh, sink features and you know, kind of the faucet and handles there to show you what you can do as an upper level uh, luxury feature and touch you know, for the bathroom. So very nice fixture up there. Uh, let's head on back out now. And now this door here to the left, this is gonna be into your garage, all right? Which they've got a great size. I don't normally pop in on the garage on these, but I'm gonna do that here uh, just because I want to pop over and show you. Um, you've got a little bit of a kind of storage space uh, under the stairs. So kind of taking advantage of that space that's under the stairs. And I love a home that does that. Now, sometimes they do it on the inside, but in this one, it's in the garage. So I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out to you, that you have that added extra storage as well. Uh, so back inside. All right. Oh, wow. Very nice. I love the open flow of this kitchen to dining family area. All right, you know what? Let's get into it. Let's see. We've got upstairs to kind of go here, which I kind of like that. I really do uh, love the landing. Now, I think the stairs would look great if it had maybe the same kind of flooring as what you see here. So again, giving you an idea of some of the upper level flooring that you can do that looking like really uh, hard wood engineered. Uh, I think the same thing going up the stairs would be just about perfect and a little bit better than the, ca the carpet, but nice and wide, great landing. And I really, really love that. So that's kind of like right off the kitchen here and um, you know, right across from there so that you can kind of see the feel of that. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and pop through downstairs and everything. Take a look at that. Our primary is also downstairs right around the corner. And then we'll, we'll pop upstairs and see what we've got going on. So I love this kitchen. Absolutely phenomenal. I love the gourmet setup in here. It looks great. Uh, so they've got the oven microwave set up with the flat top range and the hood. So showing what you what you can get your kitchen all the way up to. Now the backsplash are, is going to be standard in these homes as well as the pendant lighting is going to be standard in these homes and the countertops that uh, either granite or the quartz are going to be standard throughout the home as well. Uh, so your stainless steel appliances that you see here, I do love the sink style that they chose to do here, showing you some of the upgrades again of what you can have. And I love doing that kind of clear cabinet because again, you can have an opportunity now to display some of those fancier dishes that are yours that you have. Great size pantry, I think in the back, it's a little bit of a walk-in, so that's very kind of nice, but uh, not, not too, too huge, but should do plenty for you. Uh, one of the big keys obviously is that there's plenty of cabinet space in this kitchen as you can see all around. So I don't think that you'll have any troubles uh, when it comes to your storage. All right, so uh, I love what they've done here. Just a nice little furniture piece and art for something that's kind of right a wall, you know, here uh, transitioning into the next area. So I think it's a great uh, idea to give you something there. Uh, dining is very nice. Again, typical for an open kind of flow through plan that you're gonna have it right here, but it looks like a great amount of room. Uh, this size table, I think is gonna be just about the perfect size. Um, well, actually, you know what? No. I think you could do something a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, because you have a lot of room actually here towards the window that you could fit a table that's a little bit longer. So maybe something if you'd like it to seat more, maybe uh, to seat eight instead of six, I think you could definitely do that here. Again, nice large double window so that you get some great natural light no matter uh, uh, when you are entertaining. All right, so on into the gathering area, which again, great size um, overall, what you would expect in a home this size. With the unit here, now what they've got built up here is an option uh, uh, as far as like an upgrade. It is not something that's gonna be uh, standard for you, but it lets you know, gives you some ideas on what you can do. Contribute, continue the cabinetry from the kitchen into the gathering area here to create some kind of like, you know, wall unit that'll fit in perfectly. You could even do something on here, add maybe more cabinetry, something like a bar. So you kind of have this flow from the kitchen through here 
there's cabinetry, boom, to over here where you've got uh, the TV as well. So I really do enjoy this wall unit, but it also gives you a great size, uh, uh, indicator on size, uh, how big of a TV you can have, how big your space is. Uh, furniture is a really good size overall. Uh, now let's go ahead and pop on down the hallway here. Okay, so we've got our laundry room. Phenomenal setup with Jones Homes. Now, one of the things that I noticed with them is that they always make sure to give you a, you know, sink and kind of cabinet area in your laundry area. All right, but then they added in some added cabinets to give you an idea of what you can do. I love this for having that, having the added storage. You have enough space to have the machines, have something like this in the corner here so that you can do uh, a workstation or something like that, folding if it's what's needed. All right, so right in here is your AC closet. So this is where you're gonna be able to come take a look, do some maintenance, do your preventative maintenance. Keep in mind with me, I've actually got a video that's gonna be coming up talking about how to take care of your AC unit. So that's something we do down here in Florida. We run those 24 seven, so you gotta do great maintenance on those. You've got another storage closet that's gonna be right in here. So I do like that as well, because everything is gonna be right at your fingertips. You can fold paint everything and get it all stored in this closet right here, depending on what you need. It's absolutely great. And again, these, these cabinets in here, having those are gonna be some great added storage for you and definitely a recommendation from me. All right, on into the primary. Ah, oh, absolutely exquisite. Now I have been in a few of the Jones Homes primary bedrooms and they are built for me. Uh, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love the windows and natural light, and that is something that they always do for the primary bedroom. So look at that triple large window right on the side here, and then you still get that window above the bed to let that light kind of come in and come through. I absolutely love that this wood feature that they've done on the walls, again, kind of like an aftermarket upgrade thing, but I love how it uh, kind of creates the space for the bed perfect, puts a little shelf above there, and I just love the design of that. I uh, hope you do too. All right, so into the walk-in closet, which I think is a great size. Oh, a little bit of echo in here. <laughs> uh, absolutely a great size. Uh, I think ultimately always when you have a uh, custom closet, I think that's when you utilize the closet the best because you'll have the areas that are down below. Uh, you have different sections up above. It kind of really uses it better than kind of these racks that they tend to put. But a great size overall, I think, for this uh, walk-in closet. Now on into the primary bath. Woo, I absolutely love it. Frameless shower, again with the tile all the way up to the ceiling, phenomenal feature. And then as you can see, that window, they absolutely love to do that. That is one of those Jones Home features that they'll, they'll make sure to get you some great natural light in here. Now on these uh, countertops and faucets and everything, you can kind of see and get a good idea of what they're doing as far as the upper level luxury options. If you want those different type of style of faucets and hardware, you can definitely get that. These quartz countertops are my absolute favorite. I just absolutely love them over the granite. So as you can see that smooth look here. And then there you got that window again, that, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I love the way that they do that and they'll kind of separate the two um, you know, mirrors, have that window there for some great natural light overall. Uh, so you got your crow that's in the back here and it's gonna have that separated door which I know most folks love. Uh, and I hope you've been noticing as well, they did change the handles on all the doors around here to give you that option of an upgrade that you can do. So I hope you've been paying attention to those and looked at that. And got this uh, linen closet here for you as well. So let's go ahead and pop on upstairs and see what we've got going on up there. All right, now again, I love this landing. Very, very nice. I love that the way it kind of comes out wide on both sides and that the stairway is also nice and wide. Uh, so again, I think with a hard floor, it would look great. You could still do carpet starting from up here. Uh, so just kind of do the hardwood into that, but it'd be phenomenal. Now make sure to subscribe with us for everything uh, real estate in Central Florida. We're gonna keep up with us and, and we'll make sure to keep you informed on what's coming. All right, so as we get upstairs, we have a very nice loft area. It is a little bit smaller, I would say, than some of the ones that we've been into already, but uh, still some great lighting. They have uh, three windows actually across the uh, wall here. 
having that built-in wall unit there just to give you an idea of some things that you can do. But there's enough room just to show you with some seating you could do just a couch there or something of that effect. Um, they have, you have a door here that is probably closet. So that will, no actually your AC, another AC unit. So secondary AC unit is up here and you'll need to do that maintenance thing from there. So that might affect how much or what you do in this space here uh, because you know that door needs to open. But this will give you an idea of what you have up here for the loft area. It's a little bit. All right, so we're gonna head on into bedroom six. All right, very nice size. I love the slight difference on this one. Instead of having like just a single window, it has like two windows, and they're not just to get together, they're separated, so it's kind of nice. Uh, I really, really like that. Good room overall, but you know, more the typical size that you expect in this uh, in this room here. And you've got the closet, just to give you an idea on the size of that. Again, a typical size feature that you would see. So then back out and down the hallway, just to the left here, we've got a linen closet for you. So a little bit of storage there. Um, you have this wall that's gonna be a little bit open and they threw up some nice art pieces here to kind of give you an idea, let's just show you what you can do. All right, this is bedroom five. And again, being distinct, being different, not every room is just exactly the same. Uh, so when you pop in here, it's giving you a little bit, first you've got, you know, larger window, off to the right, you've got the smaller window onto the left. And again, this is actually on the front side of the house. So this is a part of the home's you know, curb appeal. So they give it a different kind of style and look. And I really enjoy that. You have this nook here and they built in this kind of uh, cubby holes, you know, to kind of let you know what you can do. But you have that. You have this kind of nook to create something and put something different in the room, giving the room itself a different look with having the window. So I really enjoy that uh, with the Jones style. Uh, again, your typical closet size, so I won't go to this and show you that again. All right, and now we are on into a bedroom four. Again, great size, a little bit different. It does have the single window uh, but right in the middle. So yeah, if you wanna have a different uh, style is set up in this room, you've got that. But wonderful size, as you can see with the furniture, spacing, how much you have between that and the closet. Really good size in this room. On into bedroom three. Right, you have your single window, gray size, good light. Um, doesn't have like your know, different kind of design and setups as in the other room, but still a great size overall. So those rooms are gonna share the bathroom that we have here. Uh, and again, it looks even just as nice as in the primary. I mean, phenomenal. Looking at the cabinetry and countertops here, uh, again, showing you what you can do as far as your hardware faucets and uh, um, letting you know that you can have those kind of upgrades for luxury. Um, I love, even in the shower here, having like a nice built-in kind of shelf and nook area. The subway tile is beautiful and all the way up to the ceiling with that natural light window. No dark showers necessary, only at night. All right, so um, they, again, I love on this one too here, having the corner in kind of a separate room. It's a feature sometimes we only see in a primary bathroom. So the fact that they put it here for the bathroom share between these two rooms, I think is gonna be, uh, I love as a feature actually, is absolutely great. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head back down. The last thing for us to see is that there's going to be uh, the patio and you, they have an option basically they have really good sized initial patio I think but they also have an option to do an extended patio so we've done that on this home we're going to pop out so that we can go ahead and see that and you can see the size of that and kind of get yourself prepared for what you're going to do out there all right all right hey so uh, taking a look, absolutely phenomenal. So this is gonna be the extended uh, lanai. So it actually goes down all the way uh, to the uh, whole, whole side of the house. So from this end, uh, all the way down to that end is what they do. Uh, so I guess the, the typical or the, the uh, 
original is going to be this half. So where this column ends is, with, is the original kind of cover lanai that you have. And then you have the option to do the extended so you can kind of double it and, and get this space that's all the way here. Um, but I love these windows and I think it would be great. Uh, you can have some kind of seating below them, maybe a couch or something, table, uh, outdoor, it'd be great. And then of course, you can do something uh, like add more, put into the pool and everything. Now the pools are always a, you know, after project. The house is not included in the pricing and everything. Um, you want to do that afterwards, whether you, you know, after you close in the home, you'd be adding a pool as a project uh, and you can get the estimates and things on that. But those are not uh, included with the homes. All right. All right, my friends, that was the tarpon. I really hope that you enjoyed this home. I did as well. I think it has some very good features. I really do love the stairs, how wide and have this grand kind of landing. I think it would look better with like a uh, hardwood floor or maybe the same material that is on these floors to kind of go up the stairs, uh, but still a great look. And then I absolutely love the way the kitchen is designed. Uh, the way that they have this here, this part here, they kind of doubles both as the island you know, features having people places to sit, but you know, it's still connected to the uh, to the uh, kitchen. I really, really like that and the countertops. So it's a very, very nice setup. Primary bedroom on the ground floor, tucked very nicely in the back, so that works for you. Uh, please give us a call if you'd like any more information on this home or any other home in the Central Florida area. 407-630-8484 and just ask for Christopher. All right, take care. I will see you in the next one.